I was introduced to drugs and alcohol at a very young age. My mom was putting alcohol in my baby bottles and I was smoking weed with my mom and my aunt by the age of five. So I didn't really have your typical, you know, um, childhood or upbringing. On the fluke, I got sent to Austin ATC, the transitional, ha the halfway house here. Like a week into being there, um, I'd seen flyers up on the walls over there of this place. Um, didn't really pay too much attention to them, but somebody had just had an interview with them and was telling me about it, the different programs they had, and they had classes starting, and um, that was became my focus. You know, that that's what I wanted to do. That's what I needed. It was just kind of, that's, that was, I just knew that that's what it was that I needed. And um, so I put everything um, on the back burner, you know, to see, wait and see if I got accepted into the um, program. And um, when I found out that I was accepted into the program, I was ecstatic. I mean, it, it gave me something to focus on. Um, I just plunged myself completely into it. The HVAC turned out to be perfect because it covers everything. I mean, we covered we covered electrical and we did plumbing and and pipe fitting and brazing and soldering and we even ventured into welding and so we have you know that covered a little bit of everything. This field is in demand. It's never going to go away. People are going to want to be cool, and they are going to want to be warm. And it doesn't matter what the what the economy is. That's just what that is. So. <laughs> Jennifer Bazaldua. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I had a lot of obstacles and barriers in my path, but I refused to let them win or get the best of me. Um, it was my pride, but this time my pride worked in my favor. Um, I've never studied for anything as much as I did for this class. I put everything I had into it, and it paid off. Um, now that I've graduated, I'm going to start applying for jobs, and I'm going to stay. I'm, Austin has been good to me so far, and I see that it's a booming city, and um, so I'm going to stay here um, in Austin for a while. You know, I don't have any gears as good as anywhere, <laughs> so you can be a girly girl and, and work in this industry. I mean, I like to have my hair did and my nails done and my makeup on. But I'm also not afraid to get down to dirty and, and do something, you know, different. I don't have to follow the mainstream. And um, I think more women should get into it because it's a great opportunity. American Graduate Getting to Work is made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.